Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a message. It's 8.09 a.m. Uh, it's September 20, September 22nd. Whoa, somebody's birthday could be September 22nd. Maybe something happened on September 22nd. I don't know why I said September 22nd. That's Virgo energy. We could be talking to a Virgo right now. This message could heavily resonate with somebody who's a Virgo. But it's February 2nd, 2024. It's 36 degrees Fahrenheit and clear in Minneapolis. Let's get some thanks to my dad, the most high, for giving us love and light, for giving us an opportunity to come together this morning for these messages. <sighs> okay. So, um, somebody's having a hard time breathing. And I don't mean like breathing, like um, breathing, breathing, but you maybe feel kind of claustrophobic. Somebody may be feeling claustrophobic, like the world is closing in on you. I'm just going to tell you, stay strong. You feel me? Uh, Talk to the Most High, talk to the Archangels, talk to your ancestors to help guide you, is what I'm hearing. Um, but thank you for joining me. I'm just going to jump right into this. Uh, but I'd like to thank everybody for your love and support. New subscribers, current subscribers, financial contributions made to my PayPal and Cash App. I definitely appreciate. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, let's get into this because this is a very important message here. I, I already recorded a message this morning. Um, and as, you know, as I said, as I said previously, I am... Uh, trying to be more selective, not trying to, I am being more selective about what it is that I want to put out there for people. Um, just because, you know, the narratives, some of these narratives don't change. Some of the scenarios don't change. These people are still going to be people. Uh, but we need to kind of, well, I feel like we need to maybe focus more on a different aspect of what is going on here because we are in spiritual war times. And, and, and if you are, if you're a high vibing, if you're of the light, if you're, if you're a chosen one, if you're a light worker, you're out here doing good things in this world. Um, you're not trying to uh, ruin the world is what I just heard. Okay. Huh. So um, you're going to be under spiritual attack. Now, what I have been um, experiencing, uh, and, and, I, and, and I'm going to do a return to sender. I've already done one when I was taking my spiritual shower. You feel me? Um, but I just would like to do a return to sender 10 times fold. Uh, guided with love and light, things that do not belong to the collective in me, some more to be, some more to be, some more to be, and so it is. And we'd also like to ask, put some haste behind that, put some urgency behind that, Archangel Michael, uh, because they are attacking us. Now, I know for me, um, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, it could, it could resonate with everybody, it, it, you know, possibly. But what I've been experiencing lately is so what I what I'm what I've been noticing lately and like a lot of the um, comments and chats underneath a lot of these a lot of readers that I watch is that people are uh, creeping in there these 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 scabs these these trolls are creeping in um, and they're and they're and they're shooting subliminal messages about attacking people's uh, I'm, I'm picking up on the fact though that you know a lot of us are a lot of us have or are dealing with uh, issues with substance abuse. Whether that be drugs, alcohol, or maybe a sexual addiction, uh, but addictions or things that are uh, keeping us have kept us bounded, uh, binded to a very negative uh, thought pattern, a, a very negative uh, mindset, low vibrations, low frequencies. And so what I'm noticing is that there's a lot of references that people are making just on the cool in the in the in the chats. You know, I've, I've seen people make comments about chasing the dragon. Chasing the dragon is when a person is on drugs and they keep trying they keep trying to get higher and higher they call it chasing the dragon because dragons fly high uh and you know i've been noticing a lot of that lately too and so even in my thoughts like i'll I be just intrusions i'm picking up on intrusions very intrusive kind of thoughts that i've been having um where uh you know drugs drugs have popped into my mind or like certain people that i don't even deal with anymore now this is the thing you know, uh, certain things are brought to our attention by the divine, by spirit, because we have to maybe start working on things in a certain area. You know, especially if you're dealing with, a, a, you know, a, a, you know how I feel about the word addiction, but we're just going to use that word. If you're dealing with um, issues of addiction or substance abuse, drug abuse, sexual abuse, I mean, sexual uh, addictions, whatever, sexual abuse could have be heavily significant. Those are triggers, trigger points. If you are, um, you know, having uh, what are called like fleeting thoughts. You know, you may want to start doing some more maintenance because I've already I've already made myself, you know, a commitment with the, with the most high covenant with the divine in myself that um, I'm not ever doing drugs again. You know, weed is different. 
Okay, let's just get that. You know, and, and you know, like uh, psychotropics, like maybe mushrooms or something like that. You know, these are natural things. You know, things that 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 I you know I've I've done before. But I'm talking about like some hardcore shit and portal and portal ash drugs. Then drug the drugs that bring demons with them. You know, and I and, and just to be honest with you guys, you know, we've got to you know, and I say we because this is this is this is well, we've got to we've got to accept the fact. I've got to accept the fact too, and I have. That none of us are perfect. Okay? And because we are in spiritual war times, we are constantly being attacked. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not being attacked some way, somehow. Especially spiritually. And so what I know is that people are sending me energies trying to push me back into a very uh, a south node. South node. Trying to push me uh, away from my north. I'm already at my north node. You feel me? I've already, I've already grabbed hold of that. And so have a lot of us. A lot of you. So there are some of us that are in our south node that are working toward to get to the north node energy to find our way back to home, the, the, the true north home. And that's the reason why it's important for us to come on and discuss these things, to send out love and light in the world, to, to give people encouragement so that they're not um, staying in their south node. So I've been picking up on a lot of energies being sent my way from 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 these narmics, from these narcissistic fuck faces. These old friends of mine, these old family members of mine, these people that were trying to keep me on drugs, to keep me using alcohol in a very abusive way, to have me in a very low vibration, to have me in my south node energy. And I've been picking, I'm like, because why am I thinking about, I don't even, I don't, I don't have cravings for drugs. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? But why am I thinking about that shit? So, you know, I did some, I checked myself like, do you want to use drugs? Fuck no, I don't. No, 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 no. And so what you'll realize is that sometimes if you're in a good mood and you, all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm just mad at the world. I, I don't understand. I don't want to be bothered with people. That's not your energy, people. OK, it's not your energy. <clears throat> so there are there are some things that you can do to rid yourself of those thoughts. Seven or four o'clock, Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> when I look down and shit. So what you can do is you can do like a return to sender. You can pray. You can you can meditate. You can you can you can ask uh, uh, Archangel Michael to clear out the, your, your energy. Ask Archangel uh, 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 Raphael to bring some healing vibes to you. You feel me? You can talk to your ancestors. You you can. But there's but but what I'm telling you is that we cannot get lazy with our spiritual maintenance. We can't. Whatever you do, you have to do that shit daily because they're doing magic on you daily. OK, it's just kind of like if you're working out, if you work out every day keep, to keep it to keep, you know, to, 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 to maintain strength or to keep your body up. And you're like, OK, I'm good right now. You know, I'm, I'm good. I ain't got to do none of that shit no more. And then a month later, your ass is out of shape or you can't even pick up. You can't even pick up a coffee cup. You're, you're, you're vulnerable at that point. You will be attacked and you know, those attacks will get to you. So it's very important for me to even keep that in mind about uh, my thoughts, my actions, who I'm around. The, the people that I open up my energy to because what I'm starting to realize about this spiritual war is that those of us that are of the light, a lot of us have gone through these dark night of the souls. We've gone through the trenches. We've, we've, we've made some mistakes. We've been karmic. We've been in South Node energy. We've had issues with drugs, alcohol, sex, abuse, you know, um, we've had a lot of different issues. And so what happens is that the enemy, the enemy knows these things because the enemy set these plots and plans up for us to fail anyway you got to keep up that maintenance you got to you got to stay grounded you got to stay you know keeping to keep in touch with that inner child to do that healing do that shadow work i'm hearing these people are they're, they're trying to get I'm, I'm telling you what's been going on there's a lot of energetic energy to push people back towards what would be what they would consider addictions i'm picking up on that heavily so do whatever you got to do today for you. if this message resonates with you understand that you're not the only person that is going through this you know because the the, the 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 strategies don't don't change the playbook is the same for the enemy they attack us where they feel like we're weakest and they usually only do that when we're really when we're getting stronger so you're doing something right is what i'm getting at so if you got it you know I, don't, I can't tell anybody how to run their their, their recovery or their sobriety but if you got to feel like you got to go to a meeting go to a meeting if you feel like you got to reach out to a sponsor, reach out to a sponsor. If you got to go see a therapist, reach out to a therapist. Talk to a trusted friend. But don't but don't take the feelings that you know aren't yours and allow that to manifest uh, horrible actions with horrible consequences for your growth. 
If you are headed in the right direction, if you're headed towards your north node, if you're already there, dispel those negative feelings, those neg that negative energy. Send it back to the sender. Send it with love and light, of course. You know, however you choose to do it. That's my suggestion. I learned that a long time ago from someone. But do not allow who you used to be uh, to make a reappearance in who you're becoming. And don't allow any of those people that used to know you back then when you were low vibing, when, 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 when they when they encouraged that behavior, when they when they co-signed on you doing fucked up shit because their lives were already fucked up. You feel me? A lot of these people that are sending me this energy are people that have already lost. They've lost big time. I only I don't even have to physically see it. I just spiritually I know it. Their lives are going down the drain. Their health is going down the drain. They're declining. They ain't got no money. They're homeless. And all these things that they've been trying to put me through are just projections of what they're going through or who they are. They're not spiritually fit for this. They weren't. They, they've always been some weak ass bitches and niggas. That's the truth, Ruth. Okay, and the only thing that was making them stronger was being around somebody like me. Take that energy as it resonates. You feel me? So now they know that they can't tear you down. They can't because they, you know, if 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 you're on your if you're if you're headed if you're headed in the right direction if you're doing all the right things and you're working with the Most High, you don't even talk to these fucking people anymore, or you shouldn't be. So then they try to get you. So then they try to get you. They try to knock you down. They'll, 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 they'll do whatever. But the one thing I do know is that if I were to ever pick up crystal meth again, that's it. That's it. That's I, I, I will, I'm walking away. I'm walking away from everything that I've worked so hard to get away from. I'm going back that way. I'm throwing away everything. All, all this, all this good, good, uh, this good progress that I've made, the changes that I made, I'm throwing it all away and it's not worth it. It's just not, you know, and I will tell you this, even if, even if you are on your North node and you're feeling like, and maybe nobody's not sending you the energy, but maybe you used to have issues with drugs and you're like, damn, I really want to get high. I'm going to tell you, don't do it. Walk, just whatever you got to do. Don't do it. If you do do it, understand the fact that you're, that you're, that you're throwing away a lot of progress, a lot of work because it's up, you know, these drugs will open up these portals, this open up this energy. It, it sends out the the, the the message to the universe. Yeah, I'm ready for all those that's hor those, that horrible shit again. And so I'm, pick, I'm 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 heavily just what I'm picking up on is that there are some of us out there that have. If you want to consider a relapse, whatever. I just don't like those words because of the connotation that they have. So I'm going to say if you if you've picked up drugs and you haven't picked up drugs in a very long time and you are now at a place right now where you're like I need to just fuck it. I just I don't care. You're going to binge. Don't do it. Throw that, flush that shit in the toilet. Okay. Don't throw it in your trash because then if they go through your trash, it's in your trash. You feel me? Your ass go to jail for that. Flush that shit down the toilet. Get rid of your paraphernalia. If you got people in your house, you know, the little hype. Don't believe the hype sitting next to you. Kick that bitch or nigga out your house right now. If you're at a hotel room, get out the hotel room. If you're riding around right now, waiting up, you know, trying to find some some place to pick up from, do a U-turn. Take your black ass, white ass, orange ass, yellow ass back home. It's not worth it because at the end of the day, yeah, people are sending you meth magic. They, they're sending you energy so that you can fuck up. And yes, they are wrong for that, but it is your responsibility to take care of yourself. It's your responsibility to make these choices for yourself. I've been heavily picking up on this energy for about a good four or five days now. And so what I, what I know is this, is that <clears throat> people that are not, especially people that we've, and, and they ain't even got to be... If you're on a public platform like YouTube and you and you give good vibes, good messages, there are people that you don't even know that are jealous of you because you don't you're not where they are. You they, they you used to be where they are. And instead of them listening to your testimony, instead of them paying attention, instead of them being encouraged by you, they become offended by who, who are you to who are you to leave to who are you to think that you can just walk away from drugs like that? Who are you to think you can just walk away from abusive relationships like that? Who are you to think you can just walk away from toxic people like that? You are you. Okay? These people become jealous and envious. I'm picking up heavy on jealousy and envy because they're stuck like motherfucking Chuck. And that's your problem? I don't think so. Not at all. So I can't make this shit up death. Okay? This is what these people are really worried about. 
They need to be worried about this. But this also represents what I'm talking about. Dark night of the soul, death and transformation, putting something down to be better, putting an end to things and into relationships with people so that you can get better. That's what I'm talking about. Death represents transformation. It also represents death. Somebody needs to go to the doctor and get their heart looked at. Frogs are very significant. I see, I'm see. i seeing frogs, but I'm also seeing spiders. You could be terrified of spiders. I am, okay? I don't fuck with them no more. Like, you know, I used to kill them, but I, just, I let them be. They ain't trying to hurt me. Except that one that jumped out at me a couple of years ago. I damn it, I got butt ass naked in my pop, in my house. The only thing I had on was my drawers. I thought that motherfucker was in my clothes. <laughs> I certainly did. But no death. We got death energy out here. Somebody could be a Scorpio. Don't have to be. Because this message is going to resonate for a lot of people. I just know it. Because we're all being. I've seen it. I've seen it on a lot of different chats and lives. Comments under videos. Yeah, deception, deception, the lie, the lies that you have to fail, that you can't take a risk, okay? But see, failure's in the reverse because we all know who the author of confusion is, this confusion energy, this ace of swords energy, that's lies and deception, that's untruth roots, you feel me? You're not going to fail from this though. You're going to be, you're going to conquer this. You are going to be successful over this because you're going to take the risk to put it into some shit. That's why the fool energy is here. The, the energy of uh, moving forward. Strong strength with strength and courage. You feel me? Yeah. Ace of disc. I can't make it up. Okay. You, you know, you know where you're going. You know where you're going. You're going to take the risk. You're going to take the risk because you know what the, the risk is a lot better than this. These lies. That, that that sword in the reverse is like somebody's putting stabbing you in the back. You're stabbing your own self in the back if you allow these people to come back into your life and ruin all the progress that you made, all the risks that you've taken to get toward your ace of pentacles. You may feel like you have the world on your shoulders, but you're carrying that motherfucker. You're carrying it. It may be heavy. You may feel like shit's this I can't do this, but you can because you're already carrying it. Sometimes you do got to put it down though, but put it down in a safe place. Don't put it down so that motherfuckers can run back up in it and then you got to carry them. But you're strong anyways. That's that's where you're that's what that's why you're getting blessed. That's it you know this this I've said it before. This journey, this 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 earth school is not for the faint of hearts, especially if you're here on mission. So we got death. We got death. We got transformation coming. But tell me more about this death energy cuz I'm picking up that uh, there are some karmics that are watching. That need to hear something right now. Can I get can I get some energy for the karmics? They need to know what about death and transformation. Okay. I'm looking at the word was. Yeah, these people were. Okay, this was where you used to be. Okay, but you're not there anymore. Was is very significant to transformations. Yeah, we got the higher fine energy. Yeah, these people gotta know. The most high is not playing. The most high is not playing. Most high ain't playing about these uh, about uh, truth tellers, activists, people that stand up for people that t that tell truth. We got the Queen of Swords with the Princess of Swords, the activist, the painter, the Queen of Swords. Is somebody very, very logical. She's very intelligent. She's very honest. If it don't make sense, she ain't fucking with it. So you need to stay in that energy. Most high is telling these narmics, this is who they're dealing with, and they're under they're under the protection of God. That's why God came out. God is protecting you during this trans, this trans, this transform, uh, transformative period of your life, and then after that. But you're about truth and clarity again. There's a, there, we're talking about truth here. The truth is that you are going to transform. You need to allow this transformation to occur. You need to allow this death to occur in this old life. You just have to. And I'm speaking from personal experience. I'm not coming on here to give you just a motivational message because I'm telling. I want to tell you something today. No, I'm telling you what I am going through myself. Okay, because these motherfuckers out here, they, they are some what I know now is that every time I was headed. What up? Every time I was headed in a good, a nice direction, anytime I was, you know, sober, not using drugs, I was getting people, you know, and I just thought it was the way the universe kind of was, you know, how things work. You know, you move, you remove something, something else. No, the people were being sent my way because I, I would, I, you know, I would be honest with people like I ain't using drugs no more. I'm done. But then. That's why moving in silence is very, uh, very appropriate for you at this time. Don't tell people your movements. 
If you don't, you know, if you're if you're around people, just cut them motherfuckers off. They don't gotta know what you're doing. You could cut people. I did it for a very long time. I just I stopped fucking with people. I got high by my damn self. Okay, so they don't they don't have to confirmation. They don't have to know what you're doing. Because as soon as people know that you're sober or you're trying to be better, they send people, send energy, but definitely people. They come your way with, with was, was, uh, mass weapons of destruction. Oh, my Elmer Fudd. Mass weapons of destruction. They send you mass weapons of destruction in their pockets. They got drugs. They're trying to get you to go out. They're trying to get you to do this. They're trying to come into your home to bring these uh, negative entity attachments and drop them off at your crib. But I noticed that people were being sent my way. That's what it was. It wasn't about the fact that residuals. No, people were definitely being sent my way to, to take me back to my south node energy. They knew, they saw me going towards my north node. Continue to speak up for yourself. Continue to speak up for other people. Be loud about it with the truth. That's why the megaphone is there. A lot of people don't want to hear you tell the truth. Well, that's their fucking problem. You feel me? Yeah, you're done being oppressed. Yeah, there goes that therapy card. Therapy. Yeah, you, you know. You may be working through your issues with a therapist to, to take you out of an oppressive uh, energy. But you can't be oppressed. You can't be oppressed. This could even be your energy. You could be a therapist. Okay? Maybe maybe you're no longer oppressed. Maybe you're out here helping people because you've come out of oppression. You'll be able to tell people how to stay out of being oppressed, out of these oppressive energies, oppressive fucking friendships, man. I'm feeling the energy very heavy today. It's heavy. And you know, the, the worst part about it is that they, these people are people that said that they once loved you, but they don't. No, they don't. And that's okay, because God loves you. God loves you so much that he's willing to put an end to things for you, to give you an opportunity to move away and move forward. I'll tell you right now, too. If they don't get taken the fuck out, okay, that's what's going to happen. Cause we got death here. Yep, we got. You're seeing through the illusions of your families. You are. You're seeing through the illusions of your families. That same difference don't matter. Families be the first ones. Karmic family, ten of cups. Karmic family, friend groups. But we're talking about family this one. And on, and, on, and on both, it's so funny because the other reading I did earlier, what we had, what uh, what we had, what the thing of the past denied the stars, the song "Star" by Seven O Two, very significant. Clips, things are being eclipsed out because that's clips. Things are being eclipsed out. But what's funny is that the reading I did earlier, we have that we have the light energy on both sides, surrounded by darkness. But the Most High was there too, in the middle, right above you, got you covered from all angles, as long as you are still focused on. Going towards the, the, the divine, the north node. You're, you, you are committed to going higher. You continue to keep doing things. Not getting higher, but going higher. You feel me? I'm shaking right now because I'm irritated. Because these motherfuckers. I'm serious as fuck about what I'm talking about though. Because I know what they're doing. One second, please. I'm going to get you my coffee. Alright, I'm back. So, yeah. Because, you know, you are a rock star. This is rock star energy. This is the Knight of wands. This is some passionate action taking. You're taking passionate action away from these people. You're being directed to do so right now. And these thoughts as well. Anything else here? Another card, please. The star. Yeah, see, they're trying to wound you. They're trying to keep you wounded. They know that you're a rock star. They know that you're doing well. The Rockstar card talks about passionate action taking, but in this particular deck, it's not in the reverse. It's in the upright. This is somebody that's doing a great job. You are a rock star. You are the rock star amongst a bunch of fucking unhealed karmics. They got you right in the middle again. You're right in the middle with all their lies and confusion. Yeah, but they don't have any power over you. They don't. They don't have any power over you. They have no power. Any final messages? Any final messages? <laughs> These cards big as fuck. Okay, maybe that's it. There we go. I'm taking it like this. You got defeat out here in the reverse. You're undefeated. You can't be defeated as long as you got God. You are protected. You're protected. You're protected. 
you can't be defeated neither can the most high we'll get an uh, oracle card out here closing message for the collective here today Let's get some high vibing cards and we'll get your we'll get your moonology card and then we'll get your high vibing card and I'll let you guys go. Thank you again. I'm your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, here to tell you the truth today about what the these is doing. You feel me? Cause I know I can't be the only person going through this shit. I know I'm not. The energy is too strong. I've seen it all over different different channels, different comments, different videos even. You know, be careful who you're watching. Because a lot of people will try to slow key sense of liminals to tell you you ain't shit. Or to tell you that you're weak or to tell you that you're wrong for being you. To force you back into some type of the wrong kind of isolation. You know, there's a difference between when you decide to walk away, when you decide to take your space and when the most high separates you from uh, evil places, people, places and things. But when you got a motherfucker sitting around trying to tell you shit on the low, on the cool, trying to scare you, trying to force you back into an isolation that they want you to be in. That's not the way to go. So be careful who you're watching. I can't stress that enough. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We got two cards that came out. Luck is on your side and step out of your comfort zone. North Node, what I what did I just say? You're headed. Luck is on your side if you can continue to keep heading towards your North Node energy. North Node. Go to cafeastrology.com. Get your, get your birth chart done. Get your natal chart done. See what your North Node energy is so you can better align yourself with your life's purpose. What you should be, what you should be doing, what you shouldn't be doing. What kind of strengths you have? What type of person you're supposed to be in this whole situation? Okay? I'm not an astrologist. I know a little bit about astrology, but what I do know is that when I figured out what my North Node energy was, it changed me. It put things into perspective for me. Stop it, cat. Let me get some uh, high vibing cards to let the collective today. Somebody's name could be Ari. Anything else? Anything else? We got three cards that came out. Three cards. You are a divine facet of the universe. Remember that today. Okay? You are safe here. This card is going under right underneath the Holy, the Holy Spirit. The Most High. You are safe with the Most High. Okay? Choose kindness. Even after coming from this karmic family dynamic, this karmic... Uh, friend dynamic, this karmic love dynamic. My nose is itching, damn. Choose kindness. That's why That's why they don't have any power over you. That's why they're weak. That's why they're still unhealed because you're a rock star when it comes to choosing kindness. You choose kindness. Continue to choose kindness. I'm not saying put up with any damn thing. No, but choose kindness. Choose to be kind to people outside of this toxic family dynamic because what they want you to do is remain unhealed, to remain afraid, to remain hurt, so that you become one of those hurt people that hurt people. We're not doing that because you're going to choose kindness. No matter what you've been through, you are you know that you have to be kind to people. Don't allow don't allow these these uh these this this these childhood traumas, these childhood wounds, these karmic situations from family, friends, or otherwise. Don't allow that to make you be nasty and bitter and evil towards people because of what the fuck some people did to you. These people don't matter no more. They don't. Because what they're about to meet is this, if they don't stop fucking with you, if they don't stop fucking with me. They're fucking with your transformation. You feel me? And the Most High is not having that. Before they take you out, he'll take them out. One way or another. Whether that's spiritually, physically, financially. They'll be taking the fuck out professionally is what I'm hearing. A lot of people are about to lose their positions. A lot of people are about to lose their jobs. Because they were fucking with your transformation. They were. They were. They were fucking with my transformation, fucking with your transformation. But if you know that something is dying, and I'm talking about in your environment, whether, you know, your friendships are dying, you you know, certain things are being removed from your life, don't take that as you're doing something wrong. You're headed in the right direction, and so the Most High wants to make sure that you continue to keep doing things right, the right way, which is why people are being removed. Things are being removed. You could be very lonely right now. You could be in you could be in hermit mode. You can be in isolation. That's the most high keeping you safe. Okay? Until you're stronger to step back out into the world with a renewed sense of confidence, a new renewed sense of love for yourself. Yeah, that's what I heard. We're gonna close out this reading. I'm your Uncle 79, the spiritual side. 2929 when I look down. Let's look up the angel number before I let you guys go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Angel number 2929 is a reminder from your guardian angels that you need to trust in your abilities to, to achieve your higher purpose in life. Come through. The number is a sign of the direct connection with the divine realm and your guardian angels. They're always supporting you and guiding you in the right direction. Angel number 2929 encourages you to be of service to others in society. It is time to exercise humanitarianism. That is, uh, that is Aquarius energy and we are in Aquarius season. So happy birthday to any Aquariuses out there watching. All right, y'all, that's it. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. And as always, take it easy. Be safe out there. I love you. Deuces.